My name is Mike. I'm a uh, 32 hydroponic farmer from Sabah and we are based in Pinampang and we grow lots of herbs and lettuces. My name is Mark, born and bred in Pinampang. Used to be a engineer as a career, did it for four years as a career and now uh, recently transitioned into become a hydroponic farmer. It originally started off as a hobby when I couldn't go down to my first business uh, after my son was born, involved in the entertainment and pub industry. So I found hydroponics on YouTube, strolling, uh, just uh, scrolling. And because of my background in engineering, I decided to um, get my hands dirty and work with my hands. So I built my own system and uh, I started supplying mint to my bar that I grew at home. I also grew uh, other chilies and I would pass it to my neighbors and so the idea snowballed from there and we are where we are now, about five years later, yeah. as a hydroponic farmer started in his backyard and he approached me and my brother and another partner to join to do this business thinking some way we could scale it in a way where we can grow good quality produce in Sabah so if you go to the supermarket you see the read all the, and all the retailers most of the the produce you find either imported from Peninsula Malaysia or Singapore or even like uh, all the way from Australia. So this kind of produce, they have like many, many miles that is flown through here. The quality of the produce is, is dwindles as it travels further and further. And something that we get a lot from our customers is uh, they say, you know, it's very fresh, crunchy and really good, really good producer. to our expansion for expansion of the farm. Here we'll be doing a precision smart greenhouse, uh, which will be one of the first in Sapa, we think. This will help us to regulate the air temperature and the water temperature to provide the best, most healthiest product to you, the consumers. Uh, by using this technology, we'll be uh, minimizing our impact here on the land and maximizing the yield, which makes it a sustainable type of growing. business for three years started off in uh, March 19 2019 and uh, slowly scaled up to semi commercial farm Our 
our company, Sasana Hijau, we try to focus a lot on. Uh, so, to give you a background of what hydroponic is, is hydroponic is like you grow in a system where it's closed loop. So, uh, we use less water, 95% less water. So every all the nutrient water that we use to fertilize the plants is recycled into a uh, reservoir and then it goes back. So use less water, use land space and we focus a lot on trying not to have surface runoff of uh, fertilizer waste. It's like a big problem in, in farming, conventional farming. And we try to mitigate that by, use, by recycling the water. So using less water and uh, as water becomes a more scarce resource in the world, we have a we we see we see like there's a bigger part to play in the in the long run. Uh, it's the the type of produce we grow here in the lowlands, which is traditionally grown in the highlands. Uh, a lot of people told us that it can't be done. It's too hot. It's too humid. But we have mitigated all the problems that uh, have come along the way and we are successfully growing an average of 250 grams a head of lettuce which is uh, to 300 grams which is uh, big and um, we also focus on the sustainability as well as providing jobs and training uh, the local population in uh, a industry which is fast growing and uh, booming and upskilling them into uh, a modern, a modernized form of farming. Well, right now we have three types of lettuce, coarse, uh, coral and Butterhead. So butterhead is a uh, more uh, used for salads and different type of uh, different types of platings on the dish. And uh, we have cost we which we use a lot for romaine. Let uh, not romaine. Uh, we use cost which is more for Caesar salad and coral. Another type of lettuce. Yeah. Uh, from seed to harvest, roughly six weeks, depending on weather conditions, light conditions. If it's been overcast like today, uh, it might take slightly longer. If it's nice and bright, we got lots of sunny days, then it'll be a bit faster. Um, what affects the growing conditions? Not much, as long as your water uh, fertilizer is all topped up. Uh, not much apart from weather conditions, it shouldn't affect it much. time to harvest for us is early morning uh, 5 a.m. onwards we have to be done by 7 30 before it gets too hot once it gets, it gets too hot the vegetable starts to layu and wilt um, which is not good for us because then you're playing a catch-up game trying to get it back to its plumpness so right now we have two different market stream uh, some direct to retail where we go, we do deliveries to straight to our customers and we also do business to B2B. So we, we have a lot of uh, restaurants and some hotel partners that you maybe you have seen and eaten already and also some retailers and uh, a, lot of it, a lot of it with the new guys and the new restaurants that they are, that, that's popping up now, they really care about what kind of produce that they are getting. So we like to invite them and then show them what kind of, uh, what are our growing methods, like 
the sustainability and the economical aspect of everything. And it seems very important to them, so it's important for us to show them what we have. maximize out the current greenhouse that's on the way to get set up that's coming from China uh, which will be the first smart greenhouse as we know in in the lowlands in Sabah um, so to, to get that set up future plans is to move into the agri agri uh, tourism business to start getting people coming down visiting doing tours also into the uh, education sector, uh, uh, hiring uh, interns, as well as uh, other students who are studying agriculture courses and they can come down and learn and get hands on and not worry about graduating without any experience. So the current goal is just to keep doing what we're doing because I think we're doing quite good already. And uh, we have plans to, we have a smart greenhouse that is coming uh, where we are in the midst of building it right now where we can really have precision farming so we can, we can start honing our skills and delivering a better product. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at swasanahijau.com um, we're open to uh, entertaining clients and uh, people at our private house as well. You can, so you'll be able to eat our local uh, fresh produce at the farm. Um, and we look forward to serving you in the near future. So can I try your vegetable now? Yes, for sure. <laughs> there you go, man. Thank you. <laughs>